my fucking head pains. Anyways. Anyways, this is my laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad. It's a T410. Right? It's got the, uh, if you take a close look here, it's got the old style ThinkPad IBM keyboard. This is the keyboard that I learned how to type on back in high school, back, you know, in the Flintstone days. Right? It's a... Uh, got you know trackpad it's got the three lines with the little red you know nipple you know mouse in the middle it's got the flat old school style screen 720p right um uh, actually it's 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 1440 by 1050. oh excuse me 1440 by 1050 right uh, it's got an intel core i5 processor inside to be pro right uh i've had this computer now for about five years Six years maybe five years I'm pretty sure uh, in the beginning it had um, Linux a distribution I don't remember right yeah, 12.04 12 12 12 yeah, LTE Ubuntu I had that for a while and then I moved upgraded to 14.04 Ubuntu LTS I had that one for the longest for a couple of years and then uh, switched to uh, Fedora 24 had that for a while and then switched to Slackware uh, KDE and then had that for a while and then switched back now or uh, upgraded now to uh, Xubuntu 16.04 and that's what I have on it right now. Now over the years I have learned how to use each one of these distributions with this machine. The T410 is a very good capable fucking machine for anybody. It's got you know it's got this drive right here, it's got it's got storage port right here, it's got plug-in port, it's got SD card port, it's got let's see, it's got a couple USB ports and you know phone motor port. It's got the thing right here where you can plug this into a monitor and you can use this as a as a tower type, you know what I'm saying? Uh, over here on this side it's well, got that, that VGA port's mostly used for projectors and businesses. Okay, and then it's got another USB port here, right? And then it's got this little uh It's firewire. Right, and then it's got this one right here. It's a Kensington lock. And then it's got this one here. That's for external hard drive, eSATA. Right, and then it's got the storage little tray right here for your extra SD cards, which is well, right here. That's, not for, that's actually for a uh, an expansion card. Right, and on the bottom, this is the extra extra cell battery. It's a nine cell. Right, I'm saying. And inside that is 18650 cells, like you have in a drill. Or like you have in a vape unit. Right, this is the plug-in, right, for the power block, and then this is the thing for the phone. Or now this is the hard line for the fucking internet. You got those mixed up. That's the phone one. And then this is the hard line for the internet. Sorry. Right now, right. This is where the hard drive goes. You Sam, I have a solid state, 128 gigabyte. Made by Samsung. Right, which is very good. You know what I'm saying? And uh. This is what it looks like. Now, I knew jack about computers until I got this one. My friend that gave me an old G4 PowerBook Apple that I learned using um, CrunchBank 10 right? and you know, Unix. I started using the Apple, right, and saying Unix, right? It was uh, OS X 10, and that's what I started to learn on, right? Now, when I got this computer here, but it was brand new, paid 400 bucks for it, and saying they souped it up, they gave it all, you know, just gave it to me cold and said, here, this is what you're gonna learn how to use a computer on. Now, this computer's been through thick and thin. I've carried it everywhere with me in various different backpacks. It has, right now, currently gotten me up to, what is it, almost 1,200 videos, right? Uh, I have sent millions of emails, I have answered millions of chat messages. I have basically learned how to do everything I know how to do using Linux using this computer. Would I recommend this computer? You're damn right I would. This thing's fucking bulletproof. Well, I'd I would recommend the T400 instead of the T410. You get more options is what you can run on it. Yeah, but the I've T4 dropped this thing, right? I've dropped it, right? I've, it's bounced, it's skipped, right? It's done everything but float across the water, right? And uh, it still works. It, believe me, if, if, if it still works and it belongs to me, it's damn worth the fucking money. So look into the future, we're probably going to upgrade him to either the X220, X230, or X240. The X-Series is a little more compact than the T-Series. Uh, and just, 
just in case you're curious, here's a little a little trivia tidbit. The the T number, so T400 or T410, the four or 400 series means it's a 14.1 inch computer. Yeah. If it's a T500, it's a 15 inch, 15.4. So that's the difference between the 400 and the 500 series model numbers, the screen size. Right. If it has a P on the end of it, that's usually the professional model, which has a, usually has uh, higher specs, better screen. If it has an S, so like a T, T uh, 510S, what the S means is it's a thinner model. What about the E, X130E? Education. That's like a school book. The E is the, the ruggedized education model. Right. And so we're probably going to go to the X, which is going to be uh, 12 inch instead of 14. It's going to be thinner. It's in the Ultrabook class, so it's going to be thinner, have longer battery life. Um, the X220 is a really good machine. The X240 is a good machine too, but it's, it's, it's a lot more expensive for not a whole lot more performance. Uh, and I've used this machine. I've used Brian's computer too. It's not too bad. Yeah, bullshit, um, dude. You've used this computer a lot. The screen resolution is nice, given that it's a TN panel. So it's it's not IPS. It's not super bright. The viewing angles do kind of suck. If you're not right in front of it, yeah. it's not so great. But that's because it's older technology. It does look pretty good though. Uh, certainly better than the the default resolution on these. Uh, when we bought it, we looked around for that higher resolution option, and it it's good. The only problem is it's a T410, so I can't run some of the software I wanted to run on it, and I can't run some of the stuff I wanted Brian to check out. For some reason, the the way that the buses and components inside on the motherboard are, con are connected to each other uh, is a little weird compared to the T400. And the T400 came out around the same time. T400 works with everything. The T410 is kind of an oddball where a lot of the stuff doesn't work quite well but there's no real reason why it shouldn't. So I guess my, my guess would be internally, they cut corners and saved a couple, bu a couple bucks here and there by switching component manufacturers. And that's why the compatibility is not there. But it runs Windows. It came with Windows 7 Pro as its default operating system. It's ran a bunch of different Linux distributions. Yes, five different um, ones. I have another drive I put in it a few days ago. And it, that drive now has OpenBSD 6.1 installed on it. Um, and the, the other ones I tried, like Dragonfly, don't work. Uh, but if you're looking for a good mid-level fucking salad, you know, computer, laptop, you can find these probably for 150 bucks on eBay now. Yep. Um, if you buy one used on eBay, I can tell you right now, you're going to need to buy a new battery, almost 100 percent, because the batteries that come with them are worn out, typically worn out. And if you don't mind the weight, get the extra the six or the nine cell batteries instead of the ones that come with it. Um, another reason that I want to upgrade us into the, the new... Oh yeah, I forgot, and this is the Docker thing. Yeah. Another reason I want to upgrade us into the, the next generation of the, of the line is that there's two batteries in the new, the new ones. So there's a battery that's built into the computer and the removable battery, which means you can hot swap batteries with the computer still running, and you also get extra, extra battery capacity. So there you go, there's the ThinkPad T410 review after, uh, I don't know, five years of, of abuse, hard use, <laughs> use. Uh, and, and mistakes, as, mistakes as the root user. Yes, and it's still, I did that. And it's still going. Yeah. Uh, I need new stickers though. Send me some stickers, guys. Thank you.